good day and welcome in to a Tits Beer Bong 420 Energy Drink review. We'll be looking at MP Muscle Farm. Yeah, a lineup of energy drink called Muscle Farm, folks. Um, it's exclusively developed and manufactured for Muscle Farm Corporation out in Denver, Colorado. So, it's from Denver, Colorado. Energy, performance, focus. There is no off season. Muscle Farm Energy Sport Zero is back, backed by real science, clinically proven, performance enhancing ingredients, delivering a critical advantage for athletes of all types. The zero calorie energy beverage boosts performance without sugar, carbs, or calories. But if there's a sugar version, I have no idea. Because I've seen some other flavors, but none of them. But they were all just zero thing. Key ingredients. Green tea. Ginseng. Taurine. B vitamins. Key benefits. Enhances energy. Increases endurance and statma. Improves reaction time and focus. Delays fatigue. Real athletes. Real science. And the version we have of energy uh, sport zero is power punch. So it's going to be a fruit punch. Some companies just like to call their fruit punches power punches. So Muscle Farm from Denver, Colorado, Energy Sport Zero Power Punch. Focus Energy Performance. So I guess like an energy performance type performance energy drink, I guess. So anyways, 350 milligrams, 10% potassium, niacin, thanthoric acid, B6 and B12, each get 150%. Um, you have carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, potassium citrate, um, vegetable and fruit juice for natural colors, sodium benzoate, potassium soberite, green tea extract, L-theamine thing, natural flavor, sucrose, B3, caramel color, B5, grana extract, panax ginseng extract, Vitamin B6 and B12. And your caffeine content from green tea and guarana is a mixture of 120 milligrams. So it only cost me, folks, $2.25. So a lower priced beverage. And then there's some other flavors. So Power Punch. That foam that just came over the top of the can is pink, folks. And you know what? It's an overflow. There would be no way to fit more in there. And I can smell it a little bit from here. Gummy. Yo, you smell it from this distance. Uh, gummy is all I want to get out of it. Like, it's like, yeah. Closer to the nose. Some sort of a fruit smell comes out. Anyways. Pour a little bit out so you guys can see it. I, uh, into the shot glass, just so you get a look of it. And yeah, you guys can look at it in the shot glass while I'm working on it. So taste-wise, it's not bad, but it's not good. I like things fruit punch, but then most things fruit punch suck, so I don't want to repeat them. But Mountain Dew Kickstart fruit punch rocks. I've repeated that, but um, this is and weird. Some sort of like a fruity taste, I guess. And you can tell it's from like the vegetable juice or whatever. I don't know. Some sort of a fruity taste. Then, it seems like it might have went a little gummy or something. And I don't know, it's just all weird in the end. That's a weird kind of tasting fruit punch, and I wouldn't even know how to describe what fruits I think I'm getting out of it. It's just a weird tasting fruit punch. It's like gummy at first, and then when it's all said and done, I don't know. You're getting some sort of like a powdery taste or something, but... Nothing said to shake it up, so I feel like is that powdery taste like a green tea in powder form somehow, but 
something gummy or powdery or something like that and a little bit like a burn. I know this might sound like a weird review, folks, and it might be a long video, but shit, this fucker's odd. Yeah, it's a weird fruity drink that officially, right when you swallow it, starts to go gummy, powdery, maybe. It's an odd fruit punch. If all the other flavors are like this, then it's an odd motherfucker. Hopefully other flavors are better tasting. This, there's something weird about this. It's an odd fruit punch and definitely not the best. So, Denver, Colorado's Muscle Farm Energy Sport Zero. This is the Power Punch flavor. Green Tea Guarana, 120 milligrams of caffeine. Bye-bye.